Hello everyone, my recipe king. Welcome to my free DaVinci Resolve course. This lesson I will show you how to import video from a computer into DaVinci Resolve. Every video, audio track or photo that will be edited should be imported into the program first. We carry out the import process on the media tab. From other video editing software, you know the binary of files and imports in its simplest form. In the same way, in this software, by clicking on import media, we can select the clip we want from our computer and import it. Or, instead of clicking with the mouse, you can press Ctrl and I together. We can import any clips from the opened page. There is also another alternative in DaVinci Resolve. We can pin the folders we want here and see the videos in them. And we can move the selected clips to the media pool. In fact, this is a faster and easier method. For example, you have transferred your SD card to your computer. From here, you can import it by seeing every clip on it. This feature is very useful for those who use the Lightroom or edit photos. We click the right button to add a folder here. We select the new location. I navigate to the video folder and when I click on select folder at the bottom right, the folder will be fixed here. If I right click on the folder and select refresh, it will update the folder. You need to do this when you add some new clips to the folder later. Let me click on the folder where I have collected the videos that we will use in this lesson. Look, the videos are here and on the side we see their characteristics. If you can't see the features in detail, move the window this way with the mouse. If you provide the time code from the camera during recording, it will appear here. You may need this feature when pairing multiple cameras. Frame and resolution information is here. The resolution is very important if you are using clips from different sources. You can see it here. I specifically chose video different resolutions. I want to show you some of features of DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, this is 4K. This is Full HD. Their frame rates are also different. This has 25 frames. This has 60. Normally, of course, there is no video editing with clips of such different resolution. I have collected various videos into a folder just because I wanted to show the details of the program. To see if there are any audio channels or how many channels there are, you can check here. Bit depth is important for those who will use DaVinci to edit the color. Normally, video editors use 8-bit clips. But if you are going to the professional color editing, you need to use the original 10-bit RAW clips. By the way, you can also see the clip features on the right side. By clicking on metadata, you can also attach notes to your clips. What skin, what plan, whatever. Let's go back to bit depth again. For those who don't know, let me show the difference between 8 bits and 10 bits like this. To raise it to the edited power, that is 256 different shades are available with 8 bits. That is RGB. 256 shades in red, 256 shades in green and blue. With 10 bits, to raise it to the 10th power, that is 1024 different shades. We can tell the difference from the color transition, especially as you can see. There are distortions with 8 bits, while 10 bits looks clean. What purpose does it serve? The more shades there are in the pixels, the easier it is to change the color. With 8-bit clips, there is not enough color and it becomes more difficult to correct the color. I will tell you more in my upcoming videos. Now I am transferring all the videos here to the media pool. Look, the project says that the settings are video frames are different, should I change the project settings or not. Actually, even if we change the project, the videos are all in different resolutions. That's why I'm not changing it. So what are my project settings? I will tell you in the next video. Goodbye.